In this video, we'll be covering the remaining tabs of the results screen. So far, we've covered the key results tabs, including the project tab, AHUs, zones and rooms, and the load charts tab. One other very useful screen is the psychrometric screen, which shows you a psychrometric graph of each AHU in your project. It's generally a good idea to check each of these graphs to make sure that what has been modeled is practical from a psychrometric point of view. One key thing that you may want to check is that your apparatus dew point is at a suitable temperature for the cooling medium that you'll be using, be it chilled water or refrigerant, for example. More information on this can be found in Chapter 8 of the ERA DA9 3rd edition, which specifically covers psychrometrics. You can click the View Data button here to view all of the temperatures plotted on this graph, or if you hover over each individual point, a tooltip will be shown with the values. On the Graph tab, you can view all of your results in graphical form, showing the loads across each hour of the day for different months of the year. This can be shown at a chiller level, AHU level, or even broken down further into the zones and rooms levels. This very same information can be viewed in the table format if you prefer by clicking the Tables tab. Another screen that can be helpful in some scenarios is the Shadows screen. This is actually accessed by clicking back to the main menu and then clicking the Shadow tab from here. You can use this screen to analyze your external walls and roofs and understand what time of the day they are exposed to direct sunlight and when they are in the shade. Select your room and then the surface number here for the wall or roof that you want to analyze. A preview will be shown here. You can select your month and cycle through the hours of the day using the bottom section here. This can help you understand how effective your shading elements are. Finally, we'll cover how to print and export your results, and to do this, we'll jump back into the View Results area. There are two different ways that you can print. The first method is to click the Print Selection toggle, and then you can tick all the screens that you want to print across the different tabs. When you then click the Printing tab, you'll see a preview of all the items that will be printed. You can print using the button here, and choose to print directly to a printer or save your results as a PDF. This next button exports your selected results to a Word document. The second method to print is to use print templates. Here you also select all the sections you want to print, but you can save this to a template that can be used across all your projects. As you can see here, I have two different templates set up. One to print all the results, and the other to print just the key summary sections. You can create a new template by editing the selections here, typing in a new name, and clicking the Save button. We can now navigate back to the Printing tab and select the template we want to use to print. The last button here exports all the key results tables to Excel. This exports all the tables regardless of what you have selected under the Print Selection tool or your print templates. That's all for this video. This concludes the series of videos on Camel Plus Basics. In the future, we'll be releasing videos on some of the more advanced features as well as covering key tips and tricks to make your use of Camel even more efficient. Thank you for your time and bye for now.